What is up guys, Petrify here, and today's video, we're going to be doing a video on the M16A3. Now, I have never, ever made a video on this weapon, and it's literally my most used assault rifle. Well, almost my most used, not counting the Honey Badger, because the Honey Badger I've been using a lot, and that got transferred to assault rifle. So, anyways, I've been using the M16 a lot lately, and I used to use it every single stream. Like, that's like the only weapon I would use, uh, and I absolutely love this weapon, and it's really good. It's really, really good, and I never did a video on it, never did a class setup on it, and I don't know why. So I think it's about time. We have 3,000 kills with it, and uh, the class setup that I actually use with it is a reflex sight, angle grip, green laser, and compensator. And do not put camos on this weapon. Uh, on this weapon, whatever camo I put, any camo I put on this weapon, I don't know if all my camos that I have are the ones that lag, but every single camo I put on this weapon, it lags badly. And I have a really good computer. It's not because I have a bad computer, trust me. Uh, my computer is way too good for Roblox, and if you're lagging with camos on this weapon, do not use it. Um, but this class up is amazing, and then I also combine it with the Deagle, the Delta Sight Compensator, and Laser with that as well, and that just makes it like the perfect setup overall because you can just, if you have to reload, uh, you can just pull out your Deagle and you know finish off your enemy. Uh, but the good thing about the M16A3, it has a fast fire rate, very good up uh, up close. I love uh, using it for like close quarters gunfights. Also from medium range to long range, it's very good. Has a fast fire rate, kills your enemies pretty quickly, and the reload is very fast. I love the M16 series or like the M series in ge in general, like the M4 or the M4, M4A1, M16, M16A4. All of those. I love all of those weapons. And the M16A4, I'd done a video on before. I just never did the M16A3, which was recently added to the game uh, to replace the burst fire for the M16. Because usually there's an automatic M16 and there's a burst fire one as well. And they decided to add the M16A3 uh, for the automatic version. That was months ago, though. Long, long time ago that they did that. But let's see if we can actually go out here. Did I capture that? I don't know if I did. I don't know if I finished or not. But as you guys can see, it kills fast. All right. It's a very good weapon. I can promise that. And they're long range. How you doing? Oh, my. I just went off my. I just went off my mouse pad. <laughs> I tried to turn and I looked downwards on accident because I went off my mouse pad. That's awkward. Uh, but obviously you guys can see that it kills very good up close. And it's actually really good for range. Uh, if you if you know how to, you just gotta pull down a slight bit. When you're shooting your weapon, just pull down a tiny, tiny bit. You don't have to pull down too much, uh, like some weapons. But this weapon is very easy to control. Uh, after after like two games of using it, you should be pretty decent with it. I don't recommend the iron sights. Iron sights are fun to use, but I still don't recommend them because uh, I don't know. They 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 just they feel nice with the the burst or the uh, the flare on the weapon. I don't know what to call it. There's people up here with me. I'm just oh those. Those were teammates. I thought they were enemies. I was like, there's people up here with me. I'm just not going to shoot them. I'm just going to act like their friend. Oh, God. Oh, I tried to dive. If you guys ever see me do that, it's because I mess up my dive every time. Whenever I drop shot and there's another player, I try to sprint and dive, but it never works for me. Like, I'm supposed to be doing that, but sometimes my shift doesn't work. I don't know why. It's pretty much a brand new keyboard, but I think it's... I had this keyboard for almost a year now. I think it's time to upgrade, maybe. No need to upgrade, though. I don't know. I'm thinking about it, though. I have a mechanical keyboard. I'm thinking about not going with mechanical or go with a mechanical keyboard, but not so loud of one. Uh, because that's a problem that I have with my microphones is that it's picking up my uh, my keyboard sound, and it's really annoying. Uh, but you can't really hear it in this mic. Now, I was going to be buying a, like, super, super expensive mic. Like, it, like it'll be... Oh, it's like four, $400. It's $300. No, $230 for the mic alone. Just the microphone. Uh, to power it, I had to spend another like 200. So I would be spending like almost, I would be spending around 400, 500 ish on a microphone. And it's a really, really good mic. It sounds great. It sounds amazing. But is it really worth switching out my $60 mic that is still doing well and it still does better than the other $300 mic that I bought, which I'm going to be sending back uh, to get my money back, by the way, uh, because I'm not happy with how much background noise it picked up. But is it really worth it? I, I, that's what I was questioning myself, and I really don't think it is, to be honest. I don't know, man. I'm sitting here still debating, debating it. What the frick? I'm still debating it. Uh, I'm buying the mic, but like the reason, the only reason why I want to buy this mic, I don't have problems with this mic that I'm using right now on, uh, on recordings because I use my Audacity to edit my audio, right? But on streams, I have a little bit of background noise that is a little bit annoying to me, and I want to clear that up. So if I got the new mic, I would have no background noise. And it's like, uh, do I really want to spend that much money on a mic when 
it's going to be a little bit more high quality and it's going to sound a little bit better. Like this mic that I'm using now kind of sounds like one of those, uh, oh, that's a teammate. It sounds like one of those, um, it sounds like a microphone from a headset. That's what it sounds like. Just a little bit more high quality. But I only six, uh, spent 60 bucks on this, on this, uh, mic that I'm using right now. So I could save myself a lot of money if I didn't do it. Ooh, that was a nice shot. Move teammate. All right. <clears throat> We're about to run out of ammo. I'm trying to find somebody that has assault rifle ammo for me. Uh, this M68-3 takes 5.56, five, so most of the weapons in the game, you should be able to pick ammo up for them. Most of the weapons. Not all of them, but most. Oh, wow. That is a lucky snipe, bro. I hate getting sniped like that. Does anybody else hate getting sniped like that? They just run up and no-scope you on accident? They don't even mean to hit you? Oh, that's annoying. Right, let's see if we can finish this guy, though. Where exactly? I forgot where he killed me at and where he went. Oh, he's right here for sure. He's on that corner. Hold on. I want to kill this guy. Oh, there he is. There you are, you little sneaky guy. How you doing? Oh, you can't hit your lucky shot on me that time. Didn't think so. All right, let's actually see if we can get a couple kills right here. Ow, that hurt. All right, we got both of them. Climb through this window. Um, but I obviously you guys can see that I've been trying to change it up on stream a tiny bit I'm not too much. I'm just trying to trying to have fun with other games and stuff And a lot of people are like where's the fan of forces? Are you done with fan of forces? I'm not done with fan of forces I'm just trying not to play the game as much and I hope you guys do understand that you guys got to understand that This is like the only game I've been uploading for the longest time And I'm trying to change up to other roblox games and a lot of people do enjoy that I'm doing that but there's also a lot of people that's not enjoying that and I still only get views when I do the like fan of forces and stuff and I completely understand why, but you guys got to understand the reason I'm not uploading Fan of Forces because for one, it's a little bit buggy right now, has some issues, still needs to be fixed, uh, and all of that. And then it's still a good game. I still love it. Uh, still my favorite game uh, of all time. But I'm not enjoying it more than polyguns or stuff like that because those polyguns doesn't have anything wrong with it, man. To be honest, there's not really much you can complain about in polygons other than people having gear for you. But you can't really complain about that because they worked hard for that. You can't do pay to win or anything like that on that game. You have to you have to play the game to get gear. And that's what I love about the game. Like, there is no pay to win in polygons. <clears throat> well, unless you buy, like, credits and you buy armor. But that doesn't really count because you have to play the game to even get those blueprints for the army, armor. And it's just, there's so much that goes into the game. And there's no reason for, for it to be a bad game or complain about it. Uh, so that's why I've been uploading that game. And I hope you guys do understand that. I'm having a lot of fun, alright? Just let me let me, let me me uh, take a little break from Phantom Forces for a little bit. I might might not be uploading it every single day like I used to. Only 25 and 2, that's it. To be fair, uh, the other team are... There's a pretty decent amount of low ranks on the other team. So that means I, they weren't running to places that they usually were at. So that was a pretty bad game, to be honest. That was an eight-minute video. Only got 25 kills. That is god awful. Well, I, that's what I get for playing my first game back. I'm fan of forces for not playing it for a week. That's what that's what happens. Anyways, that's me in today's video. Make sure you guys try out this class setup. I'll show you the class setup one more time. Uh, I have the a reflex sight, angle grip, green laser, and compensator on it. This is my favorite class setup for the uh, M16A3. And this is like the only gun I've been using for assault rifle for the past. Like Honey Badger doesn't really count. It was a carbine. I have 3,700 kills with it, and I'm coming up uh, on it with the M16A3, which I still love this gun to death. Like this, this gun is so good. And for my secondary, I have the Deagle uh, with some uh, zigzag and whatever that is camo, and I have the Delta Sight compensator and laser. It's a very good gun. I definitely recommend you guys try out this class setup. It's very good. And if you guys do do good with this class setup in game, tell me down below in the comments your record that you got with this, and tell me if you guys like this class setup or not. And I'll talk to you guys later in the next video. Peace out.